What's up, guys? It's Coach Allie bringing you this week's episode of the Powerhouse Podcast. This week, we're going to talk about a pageant planner, having one, where to get one, and why you need it. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Powerhouse Podcast. Hosted by expert coaches Megan Swanson Rhodes, former Miss Nebraska and Miss Nebraska USA, and Ali Swanson Mancuso, also former Miss Nebraska and Mrs. Nebraska United States. Every Tuesday, we bring you a life changing, challenging, and activating episode to help high achieving women win their pageants, massively transform their mindsets, and dominate all aspects of life, both inside and outside of pageantry. Allie and Megan are international coaches of high achieving women in all 50 states and beyond and live to see women conquer their dreams. If you are not already a part of our powerhouse club, join the fastest growing group of winning pageant queens on the planet linked in the show notes each week. Now let's get on to this week's episode. What's up guys. Welcome to this episode of the powerhouse podcast. This is Coach Allie speaking, and I'm really excited to talk about organization and specifically having a pageant planner. So wherever you're at, if you're watching the YouTube or if you are listening on the podcast, raise your hand if you have used a pageant planning tool in the past, in your pageant journey, even in your life. Maybe that's a normal planner, so maybe you have one of those big, thick planners that's a daily planner. Maybe it's thin, maybe it's digital. I want you to think right now as we're diving into this podcast or this YouTube episode, what is your organizational system when you can meet for a pageant? And honestly, just in life, what's your system? Right out of the gate, if you do not have a system, that's a question you need to ask yourself, okay? This podcast is titled, The Real Reason You Need a Pageant Planner, because guess what? You need one. Megan and I, for the last couple of years, have been creating this new product for you guys. It's called the Powerhouse Planner and Playbook. And the reason why we have that name specifically, because it's more than just a planner, it's a playbook as well, because you need strategies when you're competing. You need organization when you compete. You need accountability when you compete, among other things. And when it's all in one place, it de-stresses you. It organizes you and it clarifies your specific goals that you want to achieve. And yes, I'm going to promote that product in this podcast a little bit, but in a nutshell, whether or not you guys utilize our product or a product, maybe it's your own. My point is that it is super important that you have a metric that you are tracking your progress by. What do I mean by that? Well, I've talked about this on many of my other podcasts, but if you set a goal for yourself, how do you know that you've achieved that goal if you aren't measuring your progress? Think about that. How do you know? Like, how do you know that you've lost weight if you don't track it? And you might be like, well, I don't believe in stepping on the scale. I go by how my body feels. Guess what? The way that your body feels is you still measuring something? You're measuring your energy level. You're measuring an emotion, your happiness, your joy, your, your feeling of healthiness in your body. That's still tracking something. And the same is to be said with your pageant prep. We've talked about this many times on other podcasts of the importance of tracking your results. At least I do because I'm a, I'm a dweeb about it. You guys know this. But the reality is most people don't know how to set practical goals, manage their goals, hold themselves accountable. And having a pageant planner helps you do just that without stressing over coming up with the system yourself. Some of you guys listening, that might be a project you want to work on, trying to create your own thing. I mean, by all means, (laughs) by all means, most of us don't have that time in the day to come up with the system trust that it works, and then utilize the system. Because if you're coming up with it yourself, oftentimes you have to go through the trial and error. And then what if it doesn't work? What if it's not the right system? What if you're not tracking the right thing? Okay. And I want to first go through a couple, a couple realities that are true, but most people don't realize. 
about the process of competing for a pageant, okay? Most people set a goal for themselves, but don't understand the actual work it takes to achieve that goal. So think about it. Beginning of the year is a really trendy time to set goals, right? I'm going to lose 20 pounds. I'm going to, you know, have my morning routine be this. I'm going to take a cold shower every day. I'm going to whatever, whatever, do this in my marriage. I'm going to have a date night every week. I'm going to insert whatever thing. Okay. I'm going to work out five times a week. A lot of times we set that goal without understanding the practicalities of walking out that goal and achieving that goal. We don't know how to do that. We don't know how to hold ourselves accountable. We don't know how to set a measurable goal, a realistic goal. And we're shooting ourselves in the foot right from the get-go unbeknownst to ourselves, okay? That's the first reality. The second reality is most people don't have an environment around them conducive to accomplishing their goals. Think about everything that goes into your environment. Yeah, where you live, where you work, who's around you, what is around you, what distractions are around you, all those things go into your environment. If it's a safe environment, if you feel safe emotionally, if you feel challenged mentally, right? If you're being mentally stimulated during your day, what are your habits? That's all environment. And most of us, especially in America, we value being comfortable. And we don't like people to poke our boxes and challenge us to be better, to take action in our life. Most people like to be comfortable. If we had our way, we wouldn't work. We'd lay in bed, watch TV, get all of our groceries delivered to us, right? We wouldn't be sociable. That's what the world tells you to do. That's what American culture tells you to do because that's what's comfortable. But can I challenge you on that and say, what's comfortable is not healthy. You might be like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Are there things in your life that are comfortable that can be healthy? Yes, but get where I'm going here. Most of your comfortability habits don't come from a strong mindset. It comes from a weak environment, okay? Your morning routine, you're like, I don't have one. That comes from a weak environment and a weak mindset, honestly. Now, I'm not telling you to be a robot. I'm not telling you to be perfect, but it's worth pondering that question of what is your environment? What's your, what goals are you setting for yourself? What's your mindset? And are you healthy in those areas? Are you challenging yourself in a growth mindset in those areas? Reality number three, most people have a negative mindset that inhibits them from believing they can do something. I was just alluding to this. What are you telling yourself in between your ears? What's the narrative going on in your brain? That you can't do that? That you would like to do that, but you don't know how? That you're not confident in yourself and your own abilities? What is that narrative? And newsflash, you can take control of those thoughts. You can. I believe you can take thoughts captive and say, nope, you know, you can't always control thinking the thing, but you can take it captive and say, that's not who I am. That's a false belief. And I'm not going to let that become who I am or my identity. Reality number four, most people have, and for my podcast people, I'm doing quotes right now, frog in the bucket, friends and family who pull you down when you're trying to rise up. Now, I honestly don't even know if this is true, but it's a phrase in the Midwest to say this. So my coastal people, or if you're listening from another country, you're probably like, what? I don't, I've never even heard this before. But a frog in the bucket mentality, basically what that means is, or at least hypothetically in the saying, when you place a bunch of frogs in a big bucket, okay, a bucket where it's think like one of those white buckets, like a paint bucket or something that has, you know, at least a foot tall or something like that. The, the saying goes that if you place at least three frogs in a bucket, so a, a grouping of frogs, they have the ability to hop out of the bucket. But they don't because they're all trying to do it at the same time, so they pull each other back down. If you put one frog in the bucket, it'll easily jump out. But the group mentality allows them or it doesn't allow them, it inhibits them from jumping out of the bucket. And I honestly don't know, I've never, I don't know if that's actually true, um, if you do that with frogs, but that's a saying. 
And I think the the imagery is really powerful because you can put yourself in that scenario. Who are you surrounding yourself with with friends and family? This also ties into environment, right? Who are you surrounding yourself with and are they frogs in the bucket? Where without them, you could clear that wall easily by your own strategies, by your mindset and all that. Now, I'm not telling you to isolate yourself, but it's an, it's an analogy of saying, who are you around and are those people challenging you in the right way and positively pouring into your life? You might be like, Ali, why the heck are you starting here? How does all of this have to do with the planner? Well, all of these things pertain to organization and your overall health. And when you're competing for a pageant, those are two really imperative things to track, to be aware of, to ask yourself those questions. And this is why having a proper system is so important because most people, most clients that we have don't know how to ask themselves those questions and actually track those things. So what I want to do is highlight a couple of the things that are in our planner that we just released because guys, I am in love with it. (laughs) I am so in love with it. I cannot stress enough how much I wish that I would have had this product when I was actually competing. When I was competing for Miss America, if I had this product, I would have been less stressed. I would have had clarity. I would have had known exactly what my accountability was for each area of my competition life and just in my life in general. It has everything. And I would have used the crap out of this planner, okay? It is not big and bulky. It easily fits in a purse or a bag. It's very, very easy to write in. And we have spent probably, gosh, 300 plus hours on this planner, designing it, taking it to print, making sure it's flawless, all those things. And that's why I am passionate about highlighting it for you guys today, because since we've released it, the conversation of girls that are using it is just like, oh my gosh, nothing like this has existed in the past. Thank you so much. Like you're thinking of my needs. Everything I need is in here. And that's why I want to tell you podcast listeners and YouTube watchers um, about this product, because I, I truly believe that it is trans, it is, uh, I was a transitioning, but transforming is the word I want, transforming the industry because nothing like this exists, right? I've bought the other pageant planners that are on the market and they're all like, very fluffy, superficial. You guys know we are mindset junkies and that is in here too. So we have it divided into four sections in this planner. Think it, learn it, do it, and plan it. Okay. Think it is all mindset. You are setting the vision for where you want to be. We make you picture it. We make you self-reflect. We say what's important to you in this season. What's important to you in your pageant prep. Okay. And then we have you self-assess yourself. Where are you at right now? And are your goals realistic? How's your mindset doing? Are you healthy? And I love starting from that point because if you're not a healthy human, you don't know where you're at. You don't know how you're measuring up. You're going to begin to set these goals and things are going to come up along the way and you won't know how to handle them because you're not taking stock emotionally of where you're at in your life. How's your career doing? Are you spending time with friends and family? Are you spending time to have fun in your life? Are your finances stressing you out right now? Take time to assess those buckets. And that's what you do in the first section. Number two is all about goal setting and translating that to tasks for your pageant prep. No other thing does it like this, okay? We're big on chunking, time chunking, And now this is task chunking. Those are phrases that we coined here at Powerhouse. Okay. A lot of times we set a goal and don't know how to measure it. We don't know how to take action underneath that goal. This planner helps you organize those things so you can create the goal, know why it's important, and list out what you have to do to accomplish that goal. Revolutionary. Seriously. We have you plan out what your ideal week is. So what are your standing commitments during the week? And then you plug in those tasks on there. Awesome. All in one place. Section three is do it. This is where we get into more of the calendar management. And we have your monthly outlook, weekly planning, and then we have a daily reflection. 
where you are taking the homework and the things that you have done from sections one and two, you're translating it to section three. And this planner is linear in that aspect, which is awesome. So once you work on the first couple steps, it builds into the the next half or the next part, okay? You can track things like your water on here. You can track your movement. You can track your emotions. You can reflect. You can take notes. You can see your projects that you are working on for pageants. You can see your tasks that you've crushed. You can make to-do lists all in one place. It's all here. It's all here, guys. In section four, plan it. We have your wonderful competition checklists. We have a space for every element of competition for you to write out your thoughts, to have your plan for your hair, your makeup, your walking, your wardrobe, your your accountability system for every area of competition, every element that you could possibly want in a pageant right here laid out for you. How cool is that? It's so cool. Seriously, nothing else on the market exists like this. And that's why I want to share about this because it's so cool and I want you guys to experience it because I know it'll help you. I know it'll help you, okay? And in this last section too, we have a spot for you to reflect on sponsorships, how to get them, how to track them, social media, your own brand. How do you conceptualize that? How do you work on that? What questions do you ask for yourself? Packing essentials, competition checklist, your pageant team, important dates to remember to have them all in one place how freaking cool is that guys okay and I know I was just scratching the surface of what's in this but what I want you to do is if you right now are like I need this Allie I literally need this in my life I want you right now to dm us on instagram and say pageant planner okay if you dm us on instagram pageant planner. We have a special offer for you and it's running this week alone. This week alone from the release of this podcast. Okay. You get a special discount on our planner, on our planner. If you DM us pageant planner on Instagram. So at powerhouse pageantry, not me, not my personal, not Megan's personal, but at powerhouse pageantry. Okay. We want to know who's ready to take action. We just had a masterclass uh, last week about taking action and how to place 25% higher in your pageant journey and we talked about taking action and the importance of doing that and this is that call for you guys even on this podcast on this youtube channel and heck even if you're watching this back and you you know you're a week late and you're missing that um missing that discount missing that window i still want you to message us okay and our planners are as supplies last and i want you to be one of the people who takes action on this because i know this tool is going to transform and really revolutionize your pageant prep. I mean that wholeheartedly. And you guys know I'm like a totally a non-BS type of person. Seriously. Like, yes, this is our product. At the end of the day, if you have another tool that works for you, great. Use that. Utilize that. We want what's best for you. We're the same way with pageant coaching. Honestly. Like, truly. I mean that wholeheartedly. I just gave like five qualifiers. (laughs) But... I believe in this product so much. Like, yes, we created it, but we created it because nothing like it exists. And I know what you need. We know what you need. Plus, it's like super cute and like really well organized. And I just like freaking love it. I really, really do. Okay. So that's your homework. DM us on Instagram if you want that discount. If you're listening outside of the week after this was released, then still DM us and we will hook you up with next steps on our powerhouse planner and playbook. Okay. Uh, soon we will be able to release this on our website. I think our, our IT guy's working on that right now as well. So heck, when you're watching this or listening to this, go to our website and um, powerhousepageantry.com and you could see that as well. But if you have any questions on it, DM us guys. In a nutshell, you need a planner, you need to organize because most of us, if we're being real and honest and asking that question, we can't do it by ourselves. We don't know the logistics of how to prep well, how to hold ourselves accountable, how to have that environment that's conducive to success. And if you, I'm, I'm looking straight into the camera right here for my podcast listeners, for our, for our YouTube channel. If you listening or watching this right now, have a goal in your heart to win this year, okay? You need to create practical steps to get there. It's not enough. This is me putting my coach hat on and 100% transparency and honesty with you. It's not enough to just hope 
to win the title. Like, well, if it's my year, I'll win. You know? If the people like me, if the judges like me, I'll win. There are tangible steps that you can create in your life that set you up for success that I know through our years of coaching, my years of pageantry, and our team's experience that can get you to the next level. Who wants to level up today? Yes? Maybe you raise your hand. Maybe you're nodding in your car listening to this. If you want to level up, it's time to take action in your life. Whether it's with this planner or whether it's with a new system, it's time to decide and take that action in your life. That's my call to action for all of you guys today, okay? Well, I hope that you learned something from this podcast today. I'm really excited about a couple of the series we have coming up, topics coming up on our podcast. I know that a lot of you guys are in pageant season right now. You're competing very, very, very soon. It might seem like your pageant is right around the corner. For some of you in the Miss America system, um, you have a little bit of time, but it's crunch time for a lot of you guys. And that's why I felt like this topic this week was so important to discuss with you because respectfully, I'm kicking you in the butt a little bit, (laughs) okay? And if you don't have somebody in your life who's doing that for you, this is that moment. I'm kicking you in the butt. Time to take action. Full steam ahead. You can't just sit there wishing for something to come to pass in your life and not doing anything about it, okay? I was a two-time All-American basketball player in college. Do you think I made that goal haphazardly? Not thinking that I was gonna have to be in the gym every day, shooting extra shots after practice, sitting down with my coaches. What can, I, what can I do better? How can I improve? Meticulously knowing my opponent before we play a game, okay? All of those things directly translate to pageantry. Not that you have to obsess over who you're competing against. That's not what I'm saying. But operationally, strategically, what action are you taking to accomplish that goal? And how are you tracking that? That's why a planner is so important. Okay. I hope you learned something today, guys. Like I said, I'm really excited about some of the upcoming episodes we have on the podcast. And um, I will see you all next week, either on our YouTube channel or our podcast, anywhere you get your podcast. Love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Allie. Guess what? You are listening to this podcast on the back half of our winter mastermind. We just had it a couple weeks ago. And if you are like, dang it, I missed it. Well, guess what? We have another opportunity for you for our live upcoming mastermind event. It is May 12th through 14th, that weekend here in Omaha, Nebraska. You might be like, what the heck is in Omaha? Listen, Omaha is a gem of the Midwest. And even if you don't like where it's at, it's an opportunity to meet women all across the country, challenge yourself, grow, and really polish right before your upcoming pageant. Go to mastermind.powerhousepageantry.com for more information. Again, that's mastermind.powerhousepageantry.com. We would love to have you. We have limited spots for this upcoming mastermind, and I think we only have 15 or so left. So be a woman that takes action. Go to mastermind.powerhousepageantry.com. Secure your spot today. Hey guys, it's Coach Allie. Thank you so much for listening to the Powerhouse Podcast. Megan and I absolutely love our listener base and we couldn't do what we do without you guys. If you stayed all the way till this part of the podcast, there's a couple things that I wanna make sure that you know. We are constantly updating our resources to be the latest, greatest trainings and stay really up to date with trends. So if you want to figure out how to save $700 overall on pageant coaching, we have a service called the Powerhouse Club among some other things. And to be honest, it is the best coaching in the world. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased, but we have the best community with amazing women from every single state in the United States in our community. And we just love pouring into you guys. So if you want to figure out how to save $700 overall, like I said, be a part of the best coaching service in the world, click the link below. We would love to assist you. See you next week, guys.